Whether your loved one is a musician and you want to get a great gift, or you're a musician who wants to drop some serious hints this season, listen up as I give you my top five gifts for musicians under $100. Hi folks, I'm Mike. And I hope you will. Not only did I want to give you five great gift ideas, I wanted to make sure they're all great quality and under $100. In fact, two of them are less than $70. Talking about saving money, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, DistroKid. If you follow the VIP link for them in the description down below, you'll get a further 7% off of an already incredible price for distributing music. You could say that they're in tune with the modern musician's needs just like our first gift. This is a high quality guitar worth thousands of dollars, but it can still sound awful if it's out of tune. That's where our first gift comes in. This is the Peterson Strobo Clip HD Guitar Tuner. Simply clips onto the end of the guitar here, and then when the player plays a string, it'll tell them how much that string is out of tune, whether it needs to go up or down, etc. Now you will see a lot of guitar tuners like this out there that clip onto the end of the guitar, and some of them will cost like 10 or $15. They are not in the same league as this guitar tuner whatsoever. Peterson are well known for very, very accurate tuners. That's why people buy them. Apart from that, the build quality is awesome. When you clip it onto your guitar, it's got a nice sort of rotating mechanism. You can face it exactly towards yourself. It's got a really bright display, so if you're, the musician is gigging and playing in the dark, they can see it really, really clearly. And it's got around about sort of 50 different tunings in there, so it's not just for regular guitar tunings. There's lots of different guitar tunings, bass tunings, all kinds of orchestra instruments, etc. I have been using this for around about a year now and it's the only tuner I use despite having a drawer full of tuners. It's just wonderful, wonderful design, wonderful quality and costs less than $60. Whenever I'm asked about studio microphones for less than $100, I always recommend this one. This is the Audio-Technica AT2020 and there's two reasons I recommend it. Firstly, because I think it's a fantastic microphone and secondly, because my viewers think it's a fantastic microphone. I did a blind test with this microphone and two other more expensive microphones and my viewers consistently picked this one as the better sounding microphone. That says a lot. Now I have to tell you, I have microphones in my studio which have a value of more than 20 to 30 times this microphone, but I would still happily use this on any of my recordings. Now this one happens to be white, but you can get it in black as well, and it costs just 99 US dollars. Back to more guitar accessories. This time I have the G7th Performance 3 Capo. This is a gold one here, which has a nice bling factor to it. What does the capo do? Well, let's say I've learned a song with some particular chord shapes like so. But I need to play it in a different key. I can just take my capo, move it to a different position like so, and then play the same chord shapes. But it's in a different key. Now experienced guitar players may have noticed something here. Firstly, I moved it from one position to another really, really easily. Secondly, after I did it, there was no fret buzz or nasty noises or anything like that and the guitar is still in tune. I didn't even have to grab my tuner to check it. This is really unusual for capos. If you've been using capos for years, you will know that these are the problems we most often associate with them. They can be fiddly to use, they can be slow to use, especially if you're performing on stage. They almost always put your guitar out of tune and you often get these sort of fret buzzes. Now, what makes this one so special? There's a special mechanism under here which makes sure that the capo kind of shapes itself to the shape of your guitar neck. And it sort of exerts just the right amount of pressure so you don't get those buzzers and things. Really, really simple and easy to use. Now, it's a lot more expensive than most guitar capos because of that. And because this one is gold and a bit blingy, it costs $90. However, if you wanna get one that's in black or in silver, I think you can get them for $70. 
I think a guitarist would have this in their possession for years, if not decades, and I think it's well worth it for the headaches which it solves. Now, if you're a musician and you want to make sure that your Santa Claus gets to see this video, make sure you share it. Perhaps you could share it on your Facebook page or what have you. Talking about sharing, our sponsor for today's video, DistroKid, has some great sharing features for when you release your music. This is the hyperfollow page for one of my EPs, Wonderland. When people visit this web page, they can choose for themselves which one of these great platforms they want to listen to my music on. But I didn't have to create this page. It was generated automatically for me when I uploaded my EP to DistroKid. If we visit my DistroKid page here and look at this EP and scroll down, you can see the section just at the bottom here where they supply the link for me to share. Now I can share that on places like Facebook where they will automatically be generated my album artwork and people can just click on this and go straight to that hyperlink page. Now this is all included with the base price of DistroKid which is just $19.99 per year. If you follow the link in the description, you'll get 7% off of that already great price. In the modern home recording studio, more and more of the sounds are coming from the computer itself. So I'm talking about pianos, drums, orchestras, that kind of thing. These are called virtual instruments. Now, one of the frustrations when you're a beginner and you're just setting up your studio is not having a keyboard, a piano keyboard, to play those sounds with. If you don't have that, then it can be very frustrating and time consuming. That's why I'm recommending recommending the Micro Lab from Arturia. This is a nice mini keyboard. It's got 25 keys. It's got these neat sliders on there, these sort of touch sensitive sliders, which control modulation and pitch bend. It's easy to hook up to the computer to control those sounds. Doesn't need an external power supply. It just runs off of USB. And it's nice and small, so it'll actually fit easily like in a backpack or something for mobile musicians. I can highly recommend Arturia. They've got great quality quality keyboard. So this would be a great gift at $69. However, if you are able to go a little bit above our budget of $100 that we set for this video, I just want to recommend to you this keyboard. This is the Arturia Mini Lab 3. It's a new keyboard from Arturia. It's got the keys on it, just like the Micro Lab has, but it's also got some drum pads on there as well, and a few more knobs and sliders and things like that to control those instruments. This is being sold for around about $109 at the moment. So if you can go just a little bit over that budget, this is well worth it. Again, runs off of USB, doesn't need, um, you know, any sort of external power supply or anything like that. No doubt your musician loved one already has a fancy smancy pair of headphones. Perhaps they've got some beats or some bows or something else beginning with B. And although they may have cost quite a lot of money, I'm afraid to say they're not that useful in the studio. They tend to make everything sound good, which weirdly in the studio we don't really want. We want headphones which are honest so that we can easily hear errors in our mix and correct them. That's why we need studio headphones, and that sounds expensive, right? Well, not so. A lot of studio headphones are actually quite a lot cheaper than some popular consumer headphones these days. So I'm gonna recommend these headphones as a gift. These are the Sony MDR7506s. They do have that more honest sound. They're really comfortable, which is important when you're wearing them for hours in the studio. And they've also got good isolation. You don't tend to hear the music coming out of them so much. And that's a problem in the studio because music coming out of the headphones will go into the microphone. That's not what we want. Now, you don't need to take my word for it because these headphones have been used in studios for many, many years now. And I'm talking top professional studios. So these really are a great buy at just $99. Now, another option is to buy software as a gift. Musicians use something called plugins in conjunction with their music software to create and adapt sounds. I've made a video about my favorite five plugins for 2022. You can watch this right here. Now, most of these plugins work with most recording software. So you've got a pretty safe bet if you buy it as a gift. Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.